guys, it is April from Getting Her Go With It. Today is our second day in the Sweet Summer Read series. We are going to talk about the books that are set in summer. These are great books for those hot, stifling days. You will feel that in these books. They are all set in summer. Now, some of these books I have read and have enjoyed very much, and others I haven't read yet, but want to read desperately. So we've got a little mishmash here. Uh, let's dive into it. The first book I need to recommend to you is It by Stephen King. This is set in the 1950s and the 1980s, um, but in the 1950s, it's July 1950s, and school is out. You're following a group of kids who are busying themselves with the outdoors and enjoying the outdoors. However, there is this one creepy thing that keeps happening, which is kids keep dying because a monster is out to get the kids of this little town. These kids have to fight this monster over summer break. It's wonderful, it's scary, it's a little long. So if you like longer books, this is a great one for you. Next, I wanna to recommend to you To Kill a Mockingbird. Now this is a crime, I realize, but I haven't read To Kill a Mockingbird yet. And I need to, and I think this is the summer I'm going to do it. This takes place in the summer in Maycomb, Alabama during the Depression. It follows a small family called the Finches. Um, it specifically follows little eight-year-old Scout and then her father Atticus. And her father Atticus is a lawyer and he takes on the case of a black man who is accused of raping a white woman. This won the Pulitzer, so if you need a little bit more of a, a meaty and well-written book for your summer reads, I mean To Kill a Mockingbird, you can't really get any better than that. Next, I'm going to recommend Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walters. Now, Katie over at Life Between Words recommended this book to me, and it is set on the Italian coast, and it is about two people who meet on the Italian coast one summer, and then they meet again 50 years later in Hollywood. Their love is rekindled, and I am really looking forward to this. Katie said that the picturesque landscape of the Italian coast was so amazing that she wanted to like book a vacation to the Italian coast like right then and there. So I just think that that kind of screams summer. So I definitely want to pick this one up this summer as well. Next, I would like to recommend The Girls by Emma Klein. Now this came out last year during the summer. It was a huge summer hit and I read it last summer and I personally loved it. It's a love it or hate it book. This is pretty much the story of Charles Manson and it follows a girl who is a teenager and she falls into Charles Manson's kind of group of people and they live um, out in the middle of the nowhere, they're kind of squatters. This author is so descriptive. I felt sweaty reading this book. I felt sticky reading this book. You know, it's one thing to read about a group of teenagers who live out in the middle of nowhere and therefore don't get to bathe a lot and are a bit messy and stuff. It's one thing to read about that, but it's another thing to read about it and then you yourself feel like you need to go and take a shower and for you yourself to feel sweaty and sticky reading it. That is unbelievable writing to me. So I loved this and I think it's a great summer read. So the last book that I want to recommend to you is The Summer Before the War. Now I haven't read this one either, but I would really like to. This takes place in the summer of 1914 before uh, the war. And it's about a group of characters who are falling in love and meeting new people and living a small town life in the village of Rye, England. Uh, and you can feel the war looming. And I just think it sounds wonderful. You don't read a lot of books about either before a war or after a war. 
I find it incredibly rare to find books like that. So I think I'm going to really like this one. So those are all of the books that I would recommend that are set in summer. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the latest thrillers coming out in summer 2017. I am very excited about that one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!